Today I'll be teaching you how to create a simple transfer method on Beckman Coulter's Biomech i-Series liquid handlers. I'm Ryan with DCM Bioservices, and as always, if you don't feel comfortable performing these steps on your own instrument, reach out to us today at service at dcmbio.com. So the first thing we need to do is create a new method. We're going to do that by going under File and hitting New, or clicking the empty page icon in the top left corner. Your entire method will need to happen between the green light start and the red light finish. The first thing we're going to need to do is define the deck. To do that, we're going to go over to our Setup and Devices Steps tab, and then click Instrument Setup. Part of our setup, the first thing is going to be our tip box. So we're going to go under Labware category and choose tip box. After that populates, you're going to choose whichever tip box type you're using. In our case, it's the 190 filtered and drag and drop it to the position on the deck that you will use. For us, it's TL5. The next thing we need to define is our reservoir. So we're going to go over to Labware category. Under the drop down, click Reservoir. And, and for us, we will be using the upside down tip lid, so we're going to drag that to position three. After dragging there, we're going to define our reservoir with a known volume of 100,000 microliters of water. After that, we're going to define our final spot on the deck, which is what we will be dispensing into, which is our tighter plate. Under the tighter plate, we will select what we're using, which is going to be a flat 96, and drag it into position 4. Now we will go over to liquid, the Liquid Handling Steps tab, and the first thing we're going to do is load tips. Make sure you're loading tips from the multi-channel section, if loading from a multi-channel pod, or the span 8 section, if you're loading from a span 8 pod. All the icons will have the designation under them to indicate which one you've selected. Click Load Tips, and then click on whichever tips you'd like to load, and this will automatically populate this drop-down menu with the correct option. Next, we will select Aspirate. Click on the position we'd like to aspirate from. Auto-select a technique, or choose whichever technique you'd like. Define what, how much volume you'd like to aspirate. In our case, we're going to choose 150 microliters. And also drag or leave this position to choose how far from the bottom you wish to aspirate. Next, we will choose our dispense step. Click on dispense or drag and drop a dispense step into the position you need to. Click on the position you wish to dispense into and do the same as we did with the aspirate step. Either hit auto select or choose your technique. You can then choose how far from the bottom you'd like to dispense into the, the plate and define how much volume you'd like to dispense or whether you'd simply like to empty the tips completely. This will auto-fill the volume section to the maximum of whatever the tip contents are currently. Lastly, we want to unload our tips back into the tip box. So click on Unload Tips or drag this into position. And now we're ready to save our method. Go to the top left, hit File or the floppy disk icon, save your method as whatever you'd like to name it, hit OK, and we're, now we're ready to run. Go back to the top left, find the green arrow, and click that to start your run. A pop-up of your deck should populate the screen, and finally you hit OK if everything looks right, and your run will begin. Before you run your method, make sure there's nothing on your deck besides what you intend to be there. Make sure your deck is clear of all obstacles to prevent any unnecessary crashes. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment. Check out our other lab automation how-to videos and visit our website at dcmbio.com 
for more service options. If you need help, please email us at service at dcmbio.com. Check the video description for all the links.